Hey guys, so today we're going to be making this super adorable Hello Kitty burger. And of course we're going to start with a bun first. And here I've got some tan clay, I mean some ecru clay mixed with a bit of translucent. And to shape the head, you're just going to do a basic bun shape, except you want it to be a bit more oval. But here you can decide how big you want it and how tall you want the bun. And that's just a picture of what we're going to do. So after you shape the bun, you want to add the ears, and they're just triangles, and then you can smooth it on and fix it later. You're going to end up with something like this. Excuse the dirt on my clay. So now we're going to do the bottom half of the bun, and you want it to be a little bit flatter than the top half. And here you don't have to be as careful, you can just pinch the, pinch the top for ears. Yeah, it's really simple, and just make sure they fit. So taking your top bun, we're going to do texture and shading now. So I used the sandpaper, and I went over the sides and the top. You don't really want to go over the top too much, because in real life, the bun is pretty smooth. So just pat it on. And then what I'm doing is I'm taking a toothbrush and I'm very quickly just going over it. And then I'm taking my needle tool or ball tool and I'm going to make some scores in the clay to make it a bit more realistic. So just take your time here and kind of make it however you want it and you can just retouch the texturing again. Now we're going to shade it. You want to take orange and concentrate it at the top because if you realize that in a bun, like in a burger, the top is very orange and then the bottom is sort of white. So when you want to shade, you just want to make sure it gets darker from the center outwards. And you kind of want to make the difference in shades quite prominent. See, I did it for the bottom half as well. And now for the lettuce, take some green and roll it out. And then you want to use a ball tool or something, but I just use the end of my paintbrush that I use to dust the buns. You want to make it quite thin, and then take it and you just want to smash it in. You don't have to be uh, pretty careful here. The rougher you do it, the more realistic it looks. It doesn't matter what shape you make it because I like to take individual pieces of this and lay them on separately later. Now we're going to make the meat part, the meat patty, so just take a piece of brown and then pinch the tops to make them ears. You don't have to be too um, careful here. The rougher the better, I think. So to texture, um, I'm just going to take a piece of sandpaper and a toothbrush and then you can really hit it hard here because the harder you hit it the more it'll look like real meat and you want to make sure to go over the sides because that's the part we're going to see the most the top and the bottom doesn't matter too much now take some sandpaper and then press it down firmly especially the sides are really important and then like the bun, just take your ball tool and make some lines and indents. Alternatively, you could use a piece of tin foil and roll it over. So yeah, just make it look as realistic as possible. And then if you lost some texture, just go back in with the sandpaper. And for shading, I decided just to use black to give it a sort of charred look. So load your brush with black and then focus it mainly on the outer edges. And you can just take your time and just kind of do this however you want. But yeah, it's the sides that you're going to see most, so the sides are the most important. So just go over the texture again, and you should end up with something like this. 
So for a tomato, it just take some red balls and you just want to press it down flat. It's pretty simple because we're not going to see them much. And for cheese, just take some yellow and just use your fingers to make it look melted and sort of make it into a rectangle shape. Doesn't, nothing has to be precise here because um, it's all going to be melted and it's all going to be sandwiched. Just make it however big you want and however sharp you want the corners to be. And now it's finally time for the assembly, the best part. You get to see everything come together. So start with the bottom bun. We can do this however you want, but I like to put the meat patty first. And press it down firmly so it doesn't slip about. And then I like to go in with the cheese and sort of pull the corners over the edge to make it look melted. And then I like to lay down my individual strips of lettuce. And you want to kind of put it outside a bit so you can really see the lettuce texture. And then just fill in the middle. And then add in your tomatoes. I feel like I'm a chef at this bit because it feels like I'm cooking. And you just want to, again, you want to put it at the side so you can kind of see a peak of the tomatoes. And then lastly, add the bun. And we're nearly done at this point. We just want to add in the red bow for finishing touch. So there's just the bow that I'm going to add. And you're done. Thank you guys so much for watching. I had so much fun filming this. Um, it's something different. And I really hope you guys like it. If you want, you can add sesame seeds or details. That's a bun from the side. It's really tall, actually. I should have made it a bit flatter, but yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like it. Just add an eye pin and bake if you want. So yeah, thank you guys.